Hey guys, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this JavaScript exercise video, we will create a JavaScript function to shift every character in a string with the character following it in the alphabet. So, for example, we have a string called JavaScript, and as a as an output, it should be k b w like this. So, after j, it comes k. After a, it comes b. So and so. As we have input PHP and the output will be QIQ, same as for Python. So we will create a JavaScript function for this. It looks very simple JavaScript function, and sometimes you are being asked to write down this kind of function in your interviews or uh, in any competitive online exams. So before I start writing this function. Kindly have a look on my channel. You will find many videos on JavaScript, CSS, HTML, WordPress, and Node.js. If you like to see my more videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or any feedback, you can leave your comments below. Okay. Without wasting any time, let's start creating the function. Okay. Let's start creating ES6 function. Let's uh, create a function called. Uh, shift letters okay and let's log this function so we can see output so for example we have string javascript okay and it should be function okay as an argument we will have text so first of all we will split this string into an array for that what we have to do let s is equal to text dot split that is javascript inbuilt function and it will be splitted by an empty string so let's see what it returns let me open the console and it will return an array with all the alphabets so why we did it any guesses okay so we need to we need to consider or we need to create a for loop so we can do any operation we can apply any javascript function to shift those characters okay so let's start let me just remove we will create a for loop okay let i is equal to 0 i less than s dot length i plus plus okay so this will look through all the characters all right so we can start writing switch case okay in switch case what will be the input it will be s of i okay so what will be the first use case first use case will be an space it will be a space and if we have a space in our string we will simply ignore it so just break nothing else okay so next next case will be z for example why because sometimes string like will be this and what will be the expected output it will be a f f okay so using javascript function we can't achieve that okay so we need to make sure that we are creating use case for that creating case for that okay so if we have z then s of i is equal to a the next character will be a okay similarly we have to write down a case for capital z and it will return capital a. right so these are three cases which we need to consider and the default case will be the actual javascript which we need to write okay so default in default case we will append s of i is equal to string we will uh, use javascript string object and method called from character code okay that will return 
a character from the string okay here we need to again use one more javascript function that is character or char code at and it will be zero and plus one so what this line will do it will this line or this portion of the code will return an index on which this s of i or a single character is on and plus one will return the next index and string dot from character will return the next alphabet okay so let's see exactly how it works and outside of this for loop it will be string dot join with empty string so we need to join the string before returning okay let's see okay. we have one uh, okay this is it should be character not character okay so as you can see the output is i think as we expected yeah let's copy this and with another string it should be php and this is expected output right next will be python and this is also fine let me check with my name with capital letter and it is also returning capital as well right so m n j m b q m i l p yeah that is also fine right so this is very uh, simple javascript function that you may use to shift the characters to the next character in an alphabet all right okay guys that's all for this video if you help if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and if you have any suggestions leave your comments below that's all for this video thank you